content and welcome to the Coach Hotel, the Coach House Hotel in Arnmore, Galway. So I am going to be doing some dowsing rods, some ghost tube and some necrophonic and some spirit talker. I'm chatting to you guys. Um, this building was built in the 1800s so I don't know if it's haunted, it might not be haunted but we're going to find out if there's any spirits wandering around the town of Arnmore and they might pop into my room and say hello. So we shall see. I should really put this up a bit. Oh, mother of God. <laughs> Stuff matter. <laughs> hey, Sinead. Hi, Kyle. So, I'll have Ghost Tube running on as we go through it. Um, For a few more people. Sentenced. Okay. Sentenced straight away. Here. It's hopping off here. Okay. Let me see the comments. Hey, Christina. Thanks so much for joining me. Hi, David. Hi. I'm back. I'm back. So, I'm going to call out to the spirits here and see if they want to come and say hello. And then we'll mess around with the gadgets and see what happens you never know 24 hey. 24 hey kiwi hey girl um well farm phobia i would love to do farm phobia i might i, I should do it this year kyle would you go with me i'll bring you because <laughs> i need someone there with me you know i really do <laughs> definitely okay so i'll call out and we'll see so i'm calling out to any spirits follow me in a minute. I'm calling out to any spirits here in the Coach House Hotel. If you want to come into this room and communicate with me, I have some dowsing rods and I have a gadget on the table that you can use your energy to manipulate. I just want to find out who you are, where you're from, maybe how you passed. Hey Anne, you're back, you're back. Farm phobia is like a scary farm that you go to and they like jump out with you and stuff like that. It's one of them scare things. Um, I'd love to do it. I think it'd be funny to uh, vlog it actually. It's in Belvedere where people run around dressed like Anne and run around in a corn maze. I did that before a Halloween in a friend's house. They all dressed up and hid in the fields and they all jumped out of us, jumped out of us. It was really, really scary. Scared the shit out of me. The I'm not. I'm not a big fan of clowns, guys. Give me a ghost any day. I'm not a big fan of clouds, clouds, clowns. Why is that flashing? I don't know if it's coming in and out of focus, maybe. So I have my dowsing rods with me, and I want to try these out. Now I'm not the greatest expert on dowsing rods. I, you know, I haven't used them often. But I thought it'd be fun to have a go at them and see if the spirits want to try and communicate with us with them. So I need to position myself a bit better and not look so messy. I'm in my pajamas, so. Okay. Can everybody see that okay? Is that okay? I'm just getting the approved for Anthony. <laughs> Finger. Hold on a second now. I need to study myself. <laughs> so, if there's any spirits here with us right now, can you use these rods to give me an indication for yes, please? Rods touching as yes. Angry. Just angry. Okay, rods crossed as yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna bring them back to the, the center now. 
Okay, can you give me your indication for no, please? Give me an indication for no, please. No, Anne, help me out here. What am I doing wrong? Okay. I'll end the rest. <laughs> you just read out the comments to me if I'm missing any of what, because I can't see them at the moment. Okay, it's not going around like that. They might need to be energized. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> run. I got running before. Why do you want me to run? Okay, steady, steady. Okay, can I have an indication for yes, please? Okay, so the cross is yes. Okay. Tired. You're tired. Why are you tired? Okay, can you give me an indication for no, please? Okay. Okay, and center energy, I think. Trying to wait for them to straighten out. There we go. Okay, is there a spirit in this room with us now? Okay, no, I moved that time, so hold on. I'm trying to show you guys. I'll sit back a bit as I'm fluttering as a filthy young cat. There is there a spirit in the room with us now? So hold them evenly while I put my hands together like this. Hey, Australia! Ooh. <laughs> Hi, person from Arnmore. <laughs> Did you see me today running around the town? <laughs> so just, just working out the flaws here. Okay, I'm holding them steady and they're straight on. It doesn't look, the camera's pointed downwards, so, but I do have them straight on. Can you straighten the rods? Man. Out? The man that's here with us now, can you straighten the rods for me? Hey, Tom. Hey, hey Craig. Sorry. <laughs> sit down. I am sitting down. Will you sit down for me? And come and use your energy to move these rods for me. Is there a spirit here in the room with me now? Oh, well, I think that's Tom sat down. Come sit on his lap. Who's here with me now? 
I saw like a little cloud go in front of it. It could be dust, but it was like a little poof of smoke going in front of my LED light. Just be patient with me, guys. Be patient. I'll get it working. There's a spirit here now. Can you please come and move these rods? Give me your indication for yes, please. It feels like they're trying to move. No. Oh, <laughs> prove me wrong then, bitch. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> I'm in Arnmore in Galway. So in the Coach House Hotel for the night. Um, Arnmore is a really old town in Galway, um, back in Norman times actually. And we are in a coach house that uh, dates back to the 1800s. And I'm just going to see if it's haunted or not. Because the castle here at Ormore Castle just, God, how far is it away? Just a few, around the corner. Around the corner. Um, that's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in Ireland. And I, ha I do have videos on that, which I will link down below. You're in Melbourne. They are moving around a lot, but I think it's my energy as well because I'm unsure of what I'm really doing. It's a water, is it? Trying to think quickly. Are you male or female? The question is there. The question is there. Are you male or female? Cross for male, back for female. Action it, I needed that. So that was back, wasn't it? So, what do I say? Female. Is there a female spirit here with me? Graveyard. Oh, did you come from the graveyard that I was in today? You know what there's a graveyard right beside this place we were looking at the windows earlier oh, and um there's a really old graveyard not the one i was in today guys it's completely different right up beside this hotel it's just like locked away behind in a field like are you from the graveyard I do have the attachments. Um, I've been told spirits like to follow me home. Can you point the rods where you're standing? Hospital. Singing. I have to tell them. Anthony's in hospital tomorrow. That's why we're here. So, um, hmm. Can you give me, oh wait, let me ask a question. Point the rods where you're standing. Well, you're in me, are you? <laughs> Behind me, okay. So where, where our room is, um, well, I'll show you guys. I won't show Anthony. <laughs> Anthony panics when I move this camera. And um, so where we are is, do you know the entrance for the coach and um, that curved entrance? We're actually right above it. So this is outside our room and we're just right above where the thing, the carriage would come through. So there's just a little shot of the room and Anthony's feet and It's a very pixelated. 
am I pixelated, guys? I can put on the Wi-Fi and see if that helps the situation. Let me see. Okay, I have the Wi-Fi on, so hopefully that will help the situation. If it is pixelated. It is. Did it help? So let me know if that's a bit better. Garden. Let me know if the picture is coming through a bit better now. What's that? No, that's the wall right beside me. <laughs> Sound. Real. Oh, that was real, was it? Sound like someone here. There's nobody. The room there is further down. I don't think there's anyone in there. No bedroom. Yeah, there's the the map says that's an empty room. Do you know the fire plan? You can hear music downstairs. Cover. Cover. It does sound like furniture moving. Well, I wish it would come in here and um, have the furniture move in here. Can you move anything in the room? Upstairs, that one. Can you copy me? Real. Sure. Okay, then copy me. So, sure, as you are. Real. You're real. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are ghosts real? For myself and for the people watching. Will you come visit me tonight? Can you tell me how you died? I will be putting on um, some Necrophonic and Spirit Talker, guys. And I will try to dive some rods again. I'm just going to build up the energy a bit more um, because my energy was quite low at the beginning. Because honestly, I didn't think anything would come true. Nothing's been coming true all day on Ghost Tube. I was live for an hour and barely a few, only a few words came true. Real. Okay, real. But can you tell me how you died, please? Just thought of. I don't tell them about it. Up. Are you upstairs? Can you make a noise above me? Lord. Well, the Lord is up there. Okay. Is Jeebus there? <laughs> Are you religious? Oh, did Kiwi release the gossip that David and Kiwi are like in the same place? Oh, yeah. yeah, they did. Okay, that's okay. Because <laughs> I wanted to tell people, but I was waiting for Kiwi to tell people. <laughs> so David's over. He abandoned me. 
and he went over to um, his new piece on the side. <laughs> but yeah, the secret's out, Kiwi, the secret's out. You know, the gossip, Jeez, it's a drama. <laughs> oh, I love her. Poor old Kiwi, stuck with David. <laughs> I'm I'm Cupid Kieran, by the way. I I set them up, so you know. Cupid Kieran. I I should be in a long file. Okay, I'll try some Spirit Talker and see um what comes through on that. So Spirit Talker Anne recommended this to me, and a lot of people are using this lately, and I've noticed that people on TikTok and everyone's using that. Um, so you know, I'll give it a go and see what comes through. So spirits, if you are in the room with me, I need some more information, more personal information, maybe a name, your age, and how you died, please. I'm too loud to be a secret. Yeah, it wasn't really a secret, but I didn't know if I could tell you or not. <laughs> I wanted to tell you. <laughs> it wasn't really a secret though, was it? <laughs> Obvious, yeah, it's true. Contact. Want to make contact? Well, I'm willing and I'm open. <laughs> we love Cupid Cure. <laughs> oh, this, but they're perfect for each other. They're both into the paranormal. You know, Kiwi's quite quiet, but like David will, you know, talk and talk and talk. So, you know, he'll keep it going. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so there's a little love story going on behind the scenes. And I think it's very, very sweet. It's Paranormal Residence first love match. Come on, that is so sweet. Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Is this his female spirit, Anne? Do you know, it's funny. Like, you think of a coach house, you think, not being sexist, but you, you instantly think of men working with horses. And 1970s. Hmm. Is that when you died? Couldn't resist the Irish accent. <laughs> and then he just said, Pity, it's a Dublin one. Thank <laughs> you, he's such a big head. <laughs> oh, I love it. Who else wants to be set up? I, I love set Oh, Edith. I love setting people up, so let me know. I've been wrecking David's head and Kiwi's head. I'm like, is everything okay? Is it going okay? <laughs> He's alive. You just have to do a video together or a live together, or all three of us can do it. That'd be really cool. We could do it on TikTok, or we could do a double live on Instagram. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Sinead, what? Eat it. Do you know need it? Do. Edith, are you here for Sinead? Yes or no? I miss my family. Oh, that's a bit weird. Do you miss your family? Well, I'm so sorry that you miss your family, but are you still around them? Can you see what they're doing now? <laughs> Straight as in the chat is sick now. <laughs> don't mind what you do in the privacy of your own home, but don't bring that shit around. <laughs> mm. No, she's related to my granny. It happened here. What happened here? Do 
leave a message for anybody watching. Can you give me some proof that it is really you? So, so far we got contact, Shelley, 1970s, Edith, I miss my family, and it happened here. Can you tell me how you died, please? If that question doesn't offend you, I apologize if it does. I've been told by other investigators throughout. 1960s. Stop, there's going to be a video, Kiwi. Stop it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't like to see it. I'll post it on my community stories and share it everywhere. That's going to be cool. And hopefully tomorrow you're going to have an awesome day up in London. David's getting around, you know. <laughs> Oh no, I'm super excited for that. I can't wait to see it. I did that. I'm taking credit for it, you know. <laughs> I am. He designs. Feel. Feel. Births will look nice. Okay, I'm supposed to have it. Just, just calm down if you get into an altercation with anyone. <laughs> and keep the Dublin accent to a minimum. <laughs> it was very surprising actually when I was in London. I thought they kind of used Irish accents, but it gave us a funny look sometimes, didn't they? Anthony's nearly asleep. That's how excited my ladder builds. That says Shelly or Shining. Shelly. So guys, if you can imagine for me the spirits that you want to come true and send them my way. And just put that picture Satanic. in your... Satanic. Oh, thanks. Who sent the devil? <laughs> Who sent the demon? Um, me and Shane were talking. Stop it. You were not. Hold on. The... See, the chat disappears, it comes on and off. Um, basically, me and Sinead were talking literally just before this live, and things you're getting is relevant to what we was talking about. Well, there we go. There's, your There's the proof I needed. Not for me, by the way. There's many others. Did the people who are watching send their spirits this way? Is that what you mean? So Sinead's spirits are here with me and they're trying to get a message to her. And the main message I think is, I miss my family. That's never happened on your life before. That is crazy. You know, I like to make sure of it, but if you were talking about that beforehand, and if you don't know, Anne is sensitive, she's a medium. In my eyes, she's an amazing one. And I am very, very skeptical. But Anne has surprised me over and over again. And again, I'm surprised. So, um, I know, what would you describe yourself as Anne? Would you describe yourself as, I would say medium because there's clairvoyance and then there's clear audience. And, you know, what would you describe yourself as? Because I don't want to describe you as anything. This is my home. Are we not welcome in your home? Oh my god, Sinead, yeah, you sure? Sinead was texting me about the strange things that were happening. Well, keep sending your spirits over to me, guys. Keep sending your spirits over. Do you, do you not want us in your home? If you don't want us in your home, can you throw something in the room? Wilson. All right, Wilson. So, Wilson, why don't, why do you not want us here? And the spirit talker, it's very good. 
definitely won't be sleeping tonight. Well, you sent them all over to me. I'm going to wake up and all your families are going to be around my bed. <laughs> Go home, please. I suppose I'm asking for it, you know. I can feel Anthony give me the side eye, like, <laughs> for not be fucking around my bed. <laughs> Used to live in Wilson Street as a kid. Craig, oh, things are getting weird. But I love this. I love the interactive nature of it. He's like, hey, here, I'm like, hey, girl, go home. <laughs> Freak me out. I know, I'd be very nice to your spirits, I promise. And respectful. But I've had this, since I started Paranormal Resident, I have... Church. Church. I have always um, asked you guys to send your spirits over or try and communicate with your spirits, because I think it's fun for you guys... You know, if you're just sitting watching someone doing the same thing over and over again, at least you're getting involved and you're getting interactive with it and you're feeling something and I'm feeling something. And I think that's really, really interesting. And if there is such a thing as spirits, if there is such a thing as ghosts, there is no reason in the world why they can't come to me to try and get to you, you know, with whatever gadgets or apps or whatever the hell I use. You know, um, I was looking for my spirit box and I couldn't find out because, you know, we're redecorating so I couldn't find a spirit box but I have necrophonic and um we can use that but I really like that you know that side of it that it's more personal for you guys as well instead of just watching somebody and kind of being detached from it you become attached and I think it's really really interesting because you know energy can be sent here and there and everywhere Matthew Matthew that is my Information name, but that's not relevant. Anybody know a Matthew? Let me know. I think there, do you know, like, I think there is a spirit here attached to this place, and I do think it's female. And I think this is the spirit that's saying it happened here, and this is my home. She's coming through as well, but it did say there's many others around us, so there should be many others. What's that app we used to have that's creepy? Yeah, that's the Solomon app. Um, I deleted that because strange things were happening with that app. It kept opening on my phone and the Lord's Prayer. Do you know how you did that creepy Lord's Prayer thing? Um, I might see I got a new phone, so I don't know if it's still on it. I think it's off it. around the room I'm just using the SLS and I'm just gonna go around the room and see if anything pops up picking up Anthony I know you can't see it it's frustrating but I just want to see if they're standing there you know that's Anthony again no right we'll try some necrophonic we'll switch back and forwards and we will see what comes true. And hopefully if you hear anything got to do with your spirits coming true, let me know. That would be awesome. I can never find this on my phone there. Okay. So before I play it, will I do reverb or echo or any of them or will I just play it regularly? You guys decide, um, let me know. Reverb, okay. It's okay, I'll leave it for the Brits and run. Oh, Jesus, regularly, okay. Don't have a fight now over. <laughs> we fight him. Reverb, okay, I'll try reverb. And then, well, it's gonna be regularly, so it's not gonna be like, it's, it's in the, there's 50-50 here, lads. <laughs> One more comment, please. Um, reverb doesn't really, it's still normal, but I won't put on it. There you go, Craig. Re reverb -ing. Okay, I'm calling out to any spirits here in the room with us now, or spirits attached to the people who are watching.
come forward and tell me your name. Curse. I heard a curse. You were talking about curses recently. How many spirits are here with us now? Did I hear fuck you? No. How many Sometimes it sounds like it's sped up. It's not sped up at all. How many spirits are in the room? Can you say my name? Yeah. Oh, Sinead, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> is, that, is there any of Sinead's spirits here? I get a bit closer to you. Okay. Do you need our help? How did you die? Sounds like there's a lot here. Can, you, can one person at a time come forward and say your name? That was me. One person at a time. I think I heard Orla. Can you say the name of this hotel? Tom. If you don't know Tom is my spirit attachment, he comes in now and again. Ignore him. David Harry. Okay, I'll do roll call. If that's okay with you, just say yes. So roll call is when I ask the spirits to say your name. I'm gonna start with Anne because I know Anne is okay. Okay, spirits, I want you to say a few names for me, just so I know you're real. Can you say Anne, please? Oh, that was real. 
So that was a female saying, Anne, let me know if you heard it, guys. Without fail. That said, Anne. Said Anne says, That's weird. David, you've seen me do roll calls. It doesn't happen that quick. Can you say David? Okay, spirits. Can you say David? Can you say David for me? Okay, one more time. Can you say David for me? Like it started. The funny thing is, when I start my sessions, I always start with the question roll call. No way, that's so cool. Dahi, it could be Dahi. We're in Irish speaking territory here. Can you say Melissa? Say Kiwi. Same person, by the way, guys. <laughs> Can you say Melissa or Kiwi? How many spirits are around Melissa? I think I heard Lissa in there somewhere. There's more. Can you say Sinead? Tell me to be careful, Sinead. Yeah, I definitely heard Melissa. Yeah. I do be afraid to say it sometimes, guys, because I hear random stuff sometimes. Why are you telling Sinead to be careful? Real. They're real. Trap. trap. There's a trap. I know why they're there. Paul. Can you say Craig? How do I say that, Craig? Sorry, if it's Greg. No, it's Craig. It's... Did I say it right? Greg. It did say Paul. I'm dyslexic. Craig. Craig. Greg. What is Craig? <laughs> My brain won't let me. Sit down. This is, I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. What is Craig? Greg's Greg's spirit guide's name. What is Greg's spirit guide's name? Okay. If his spirit guide is here, can you say his name? Uh, 
Does anybody I miss let me know? I would say one strong Jewish named. So I will say this, guys. If there's a lot of dark energy around you, like, especially what's coming out with Sinead, um, if she has been feeling like a certain way or anything like that, you attract a lot of the negative energy and it kind of, it builds up so much that it's attracting negative forces. So like, there's no need to like panic or worry Sinead whatsoever. Um, it's just to have your guard up and be careful because if you're down yourself, you will attract the bad, okay? So just don't be worrying too much. Holy water can help. Um, it's your belief system. If you believe holy water is going to help, it will help, you know? It's always up, yeah. I get you. But it is true, like I find if I'm in a negative headspace, everything goes wrong. Yeah, so as in what we're doing here, we're looking for evidence that there is something afterwards. So if something as interesting comes up, that conversation was had that I have no clue what was said between Anne and Sinead and it's coming through the spirit box. I find that interesting. Um, I know it mightn't be interesting for other people because, you know, they want to talk to their spirits and things like that. But for like, if you think about that, that's wild, you know, that's it. That's really, really cool. Can you say my name? Can you say Kiron? interesting like from a paranormal side of things like I really do believe that if if you are negative minded and you think negative thoughts everything wrong goes around you it's like when you get in a bad mood and you can't get out of it and everything goes wrong like things start falling you knock over things and it's like this it's like a roll it's like a a wave of energy and it keeps getting worse and worse and worse until you can put a stop to it and put yourself in a positive mindset, fake till you make it is what I always say, kind of force yourself to think positively, like I will get through this, I it, it will be okay. But sometimes we get caught in the cycle and negative things constantly happen. And I find that interesting, I don't know if it's psychological or whatever, but in that way, I believe in energy and the spirits and how they can attach themselves to you. If you are, if you have a dark cloud, if your defenses are weakened, if you are weaker in your mind, spirits can come around and that's when they wreak havoc. And I think if you let them, if you don't put yourself in a more positive mindset, my, and I know it's very, very hard to think positively because you know I'm as cynical as to come, but it really does work. I really do believe it works. My cat will protect me and let me know when there's something bad. Oh, Tom. The spirits could have been talking about you, Tom, when it kept saying Tom. Um, yeah. Yeah, David, it's, it's, it's weird. You, you could just have a fight one day or just be in a really bad form. Something really puts you off and you're snappy and you're kind of banging things and you're just really pissed off. But I find when that happens, you get bad news, things break, things won't work, things that worked perfectly fine before gadgets or internet, something always breaks the minute you start that negative mindset. And 
like it really does happen like it really that, that like to me that's paranormal like that doesn't make sense that negative things would occur afterwards just randomly you know it's not random but you know what i'm trying to say guys not the smartest penny <laughs> shiniest penny sorry yeah it's all you feel like you're being punished for thinking so negatively that like it feels like it's just a constant cycle and um things do go wrong they really do what you put out there um it does come back it comes back so what i say to anyone and how i got through my depression and anxiety was I had to fake it till I make it. I had to pretend for the longest time that I was okay until I was okay, until I tricked myself into thinking. I didn't feel okay at the time. I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel content. But over time, the more I pushed them positive thoughts in and the negative ones out, it was like things started falling into place. It's wild. Spirits, is what I'm saying true? Same as the restaurant in England. Yeah. Greg's. Okay, I took it off reverb for a sec. I have no fear of anything. I'm the best way to be. Fear is can literally lead to a lot of crazy things happening. Alright guys, do you use like the reason you watch paranormal videos? Is it part of you that fears what's beyond? Is there part of you that wants to know, or is it just you just find it interesting, you find it a bit funny or whatever? But I'd be interested to know what you guys, you know, why you watched Paranormal or why you have an interest in it. Is it your belief system or you just, you're totally convinced you have an interest, you love spirits, or you just want to know more, you're curious, you know? I think for me, what really got me going on this journey is my own belief system and kind of feeling when I was at my lowest, is there anything after this? Is there a God? Is there, is, you know, Jesus, whatever, is there angels? Is there spirits? Is there something beyond this? And they're, they're trying to help me and all this kind of, kind of stuff. And for me, I just want proof of it. they been at me since I was seven years old, kind of dragged me into it. And for knowledge of the unknown, I don't fear, I want to know for sure, to know my family are at peace, peace of mind for sure, yeah. Oh, I love your bad moods, not saying what it does for me. <laughs> but yeah, I just, usually people who are into the paranormal or watch paranormal things, They've either been through something really, really dark or they struggle a lot with being here in the first place. And they have a lot of questions about what life, what's the reason for it all, you know? And I think for me, if I seen a ghost, you know, in the perfect conditions, no way of explaining it and, you know, sober, 
even though I don't drink or I do anything like that. But, you know, for me, that would give me so much comfort because I'd, I'd know there was something more than this. And like, there's a part of me, I do believe in it all. I really do believe in it all. With what I've experienced over the past few, two years, three years nearly, in, no, three years in February, is it? February next year, three years. Um, like I've experienced things when I was little, but then you can put that down to an adolescent mind and children imagining things. Um, and I have experienced things with, since I started paranormal resident, but I haven't got, I'm not satisfied. And I won't be satisfied until a ghost walks up to me and says, yes, they're real, <laughs> you know. I've never seen a ghost, but I've dreamt of family members. See, that's the thing. A lot of people say that, you know. Um, let's see. Okay, thanks, guys. we got to get the day started. It's 7.30 a.m. Oh, thanks so much for joining in. Go get them, Australia. I adore you. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, take care is right. Um, so, I don't know, it's weird. I'll put on some uh, ghost tube and then I'll try to douse some rods and then I will let you guys go and enjoy your night. Um, just want to see if ghost tube has any more to offer us. Don't do that. Okay, ghost tube is running. Oh, thanks for nerd. <laughs> you know, I struggle with lives and trying to make them interesting and trying to get a conversation going and getting everyone involved. And with me, I struggle with my words a lot, as you can tell. But, um, you know, I love when we get a bit of energy going between all of us and I feel like I'm just sitting here talking to you. You know, like, you're in the room with me. I love when that feels like that. And that's what it feels like tonight. And I think that's when the energy really comes out as well. I'm crazy when I'm on lives. You're a natural on the lives, and I watched the video. You are a natural. Um, so you're very, very good. They never talk to me like <laughs> See, I hate that when you go on other people's lives and they don't communicate with you or they don't talk to you and they ignore your comments and it bugs the hell out of me and I know it might not be as enjoyable to watch for other people when they're re-watching it because I'm talking to you guys with the comments and stuff like that but I don't care about that I just I want to talk no. to get to know you guys and talk to you guys so spirits if you are here murdered. And oh you were murdered so it did say it happened here. This is my home. Were you murdered here in this building? I didn't come across any documented murders anywhere in the history. There was no history I could find. See, sometimes it's my confidence, guys, when I go live. I don't feel like I have anything to offer anyone and it, that's my own problem. I, I need to work on it. But I just, I have struggled with it and being live, editing and making a video is completely different because when you're live, you have to be in the mood, you have to do it and you have to get on with it even if you don't know what you're saying or what you're doing, you know, which majority of the time I don't. Well, live I can edit out all the, uh, 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 um, you know, the them bits. And I kind of look smarter. <laughs> but, well, I can't do that. Oh, Sinead, thank you. My personality. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Well, I can't. But... Are you in the next room or above us? If you're in this room, can you make a loud banging noise? I'm surprised by the energy tonight, guys. Oh, Aaron, thank you. I don't believe I'm anyone's favorite. <laughs> I'm just trying something here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Is 
it windy? It is windy. Um, that's not too bad. Not for next to the Galway Bay. Like, it's not crazy, crazy. Down by the Kitchen. Wall. Kitchen. Kitchen. There's supposed to be a lovely restaurant here. It's very busy. Uncomfortable. Are you in the kitchen downstairs? Do you not like people in your kitchen? Or was this room a kitchen? It won't make sense of this room because it's upstairs. Is there somebody in your kitchen, Sinead? <laughs> My eyes look so tired. I'm not tired though. Fucking water's gonna lift me out of it in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, you were in your granny's kitchen. So, and... It's from the 1800s. It was a coach house um, I'm, because it has the coach thing. Um, other than that, I can't find anything on it. I did a bit of research in the village of Arnmore and or the town of Arnmore. So I'm just going to bring that up and show you guys. Yeah. That's hard, it's hard. Okay. So, Arnmore is a post town and parish, partly in the county of, county of the town of Galway, but chiefly in the barony of Dunkellen, County Galway and province of Connaught on the road from Dublin to Galway. Here was an ancient fortress of the Earl of Clan Rickard, who I can say Clan Rickard, but I can't say Craig. Greg. Oh no. Um so it was an ancient fortress of the Earl of Clan Rickard who placed it on the breaking out of the war in sixteen forty one under the command of Captain Willoughby. Did we get no we got Wilson, who was also held the fort of St. Augustine in Galway and both these he surrendered to Catholic forces in 1643. So yeah the English Civil War. The old church, the vicarage, it doesn't mention anything about this building. I can't find anything but I like coming to these places and seeing if there is any you know Spooky happenings. Where there's an old building, I do believe there has to be life, there has to be death. And where there's life and death, there's ghosts. Um, the castle here was built between the 13th and 15th century, and it was originally at the Burgo Castle. Again, I'll link them videos down below. Um, they won't let me back into Arnmore Castle. <laughs> um, the first written record of Oren Moore is in the, oh, I was going to say annals, but that's not, <laughs> annals, A-N-N-A-L-S, annal of the four masters. It was originally called Foreign Moor, meaning Great Spring in Irish. The name refers to a spring to the northwest of the main village. And dates back to the 13th century, the village. So, there will always be with these residual energy in buildings. I have a feeling, like, not psychic, but I have a feeling there is a spirit here. They're not happy with what it is. They're saying it's my home. They're quite angry that there's lots of activity going on around their house. And, you know... Maybe they were quite a quiet person and they don't like any of this. You never know. You never know. Okay, I'll try to douse some rods. 
more so because I, because <laughs> I want to perfect them and and practice with them because people are always asking me to use dice and nuts. It's so warm here in Ireland in September. I'm just not used to it. It's like 19 degrees today. It's really humid and like there's no air out. It's just rough. I <laughs> love the curtains because I said the same thing. They are nice, aren't they? They're like trees. I got a spooky picture in my room. Which I appreciate. See, this is the, the, the issue I have. A bitch slaps me. If there's any spirit here, can you give me an indication for yes, please? Okay, you can't see that, but it crossed. Okay, I'm gonna move back a bit so you can see. <laughs> Same. Okay. Sit back like this. Do you tell me to chant? Because I'm gonna concentrate. Yeah. Is there a male spirit here? Is there a female spirit here? Can you bring it back into the middle? Not the middle of them. We'll do. Start the middle. It's so hard to keep yourself balanced. Give me an indication for yes, but I don't know why no way. Um where are you standing in the room? Behind me, like Adam said. Okay, if you're behind me, can you move the curtain behind me? Is there more than one spirit here? Can you bring the the things back to the middle, please? Some kind of servant. Interesting. Is that true? Are you a servant? Give me your indication for yes. You. You're making noise there earlier, were you? Were you cleaning? 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 But I moved a bit there, so I don't know about that, but it's not moving now, maybe. Can you stop pointing this into my mouth, please? Do you have long brown hair? 
Can you move the rods back to the middle, please? Like this squeak, it kind of makes it sound more creaky. <laughs> Can you move that one back, please? It can also come for glass. Okay, I know you're behind me, but were you murdered? Can you tell me if you were murdered? do twitch a bit guys I'll be honest with you sometimes it's involuntary but I'm gonna I'm keeping an eye on myself is there a baby with you are you pregnant Okay, I'm gonna straighten myself up a bit, guys. <laughs> Shut up. Hear what that fucker said. <laughs> so I'm gonna straighten myself up a bit, and he said, too late for that. Do you have a baby? Yeah. Did your baby survive? It looks like I'm pointing them down, guys. I'm not. They're straight ahead of me. Just the way the camera is positioned. Did, did your baby survive? Yes, or I don't know, maybe. Was your baby taken away from you? Can you bring the rods back to the middle? It's very typical in Ireland for babies to be taken away from their mum. Church. Was your baby taken away from you? Yes or no? It's really weird. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was my mum and dad on the other side. It's fine. I'll just put them back in the middle. People can be moving. People can see me moving. <laughs> okay. Do you do you miss your baby? Can you see your baby? Ask him too many questions. Yeah. See you, Tom. Thanks so much for tuning in. You're awesome. I really appreciate it.
is your baby with you now? Can you point to where you're standing in the room? Is it very bright? I don't know if my hand is. Is my hand shaking? Start very bright. Hot. My hands are cramping. What are people saying? straightening myself up. Don't want to. Okay, can you point to where you are in the room? Oh, I twitched a bit there. Okay, we'll start again. Can you point to where you are in the room? Okay, thanks. Are you... Okay, you're still behind me. Can you mess with my hair? Can you see what color my hair is? Do you like it? Oh, thanks. Thank you. Is your hair brown? Is your hair brown? Fuck me, there's like a demon in that bathroom. That could have been me. Okay. I'm still steady though, I'm still steady. Okay. Nervous Nancy. Were you murdered? Can you bring the rod back for me, please? Thank you. Oh, that was weird. She saw it as a murder. Is that true? Did you see it as a murder? Was it the master of the house? Oh my god, that's so weird because I just went straight and then back. Yes. Was he not happy that you had a baby or you were pregnant? Was he mad? Yeah, Anthony just said that. 
Did you fall down the stairs? Yes. I know you can't see it, but you can see where it's crossing. That's my mind. Was your child a girl? Yes. The master of the house pushed you down the stairs. Can you spin the rod for me? But I twitched. Did the master push you down the stairs? He was so mad you were pregnant. Yes, okay. Was the master married? Did he have a wife? a bitch <laughs> no vibrating okay but. did he have children Was he having an affair with you for many years? Oh, look at that one. It's waving backwards and forwards. Did he force himself on you? I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you want to move forward? Do you want to stop haunting this place? No answer. Do you want to stay here? Do you like it here? Yes. You can leave here. You don't have to stay here. If you're afraid that your baby, you won't see your baby, you will. Is the baby with you now? No answer. Are you all alone? Oh, I twitched. Are you all alone? Yes. Are you searching for this baby? searching for it, her, him, yes. Is there any other spirits here with you? must be very lonely. Are you afraid? Oh. Lonely. 
I'll be your friend. Would you like me to be your friend? Of course I'll be your friend. Are you happy myself and Anthony are here? Are you happy that somebody has come to talk to you? I doubt many people do that. Are you happy that we're here with you? Big yes. That was me moving my pen. Um, I'm not gonna. Your baby's waiting for you on the other side. You don't have to stay here. You can come visit if you like. But your baby is waiting there. And we can open up a doorway for you. So it's up to you if you want to walk through that doorway and see your baby. Don't be afraid of how you'll be judged. If you're afraid that you had this baby out of wedlock, only you will judge yourself. There's no hell. There's only love on the other side and lessons learned. Would you go see your baby? Yes. Are you going to move forward now? Can you see the doorway? Can you see the light? Yes. Do you want to go into the light? You want to move forward into the light. If you do, can you just move the rods one more time before I go? Can you point to even where the light is in the room? Anthony says the room feels different. That was powerful. That was very interesting. Very sad. I feel she needed your help to cross. That was amazing. Thanks. I can really feel it. My arms are killing me, but you can really feel it. I was closing my eyes, I was just envisioning some bright light in the room that she can cross forward. I suppose if you think about it, this is just kind of a modern looking hotel. It's not a place for ghost hunters. Nobody would really come here and talk to spirits. I'm probably the first really ever to come here and talk to spirits. And maybe she just needed someone to tell her that it is okay. To move forward that there is no hell you know I, I do believe that I don't believe in hell I believe we're here to learn lessons regardless of who we are oh, thanks. seven spirits left right and center <laughs> I know that was really powerful I love things like that and um, so the thousand rods will be returning on very soon um, but that must be the woman that was coming forward at the beginning and all your family and stuff were coming forward and she was probably stepping back she seemed very timid it wasn't a like a big strong energy she was timid she was letting people come forward 
and she's just very sad and lonely. Yeah, true. That's true. I probably was. People would. A lot of people don't. Like when you come to a hotel, you're on holidays and you're not thinking of ghosts. I am. But I say a lot of people wouldn't have acknowledged her being here. And she was probably just waiting for her moment. Yeah. Anthony's just saying that she probably wouldn't have done that in life as a servant. She would have been beneath the people. So she probably would have been very shy and standoffish, you know? Cool life. I am happy with that. And I hope you are too. But I'm getting tired. Um and I am gonna let you guys go. And oh, what's that say? That's why we do what we do. True. True that. True that. You're meant to be there to do that tonight. That's so sweet. I hope so. I hope I helped her and uh, you guys helped her. You I wouldn't be here doing it if you guys weren't here watching so you know you guys helped that spirit tonight all of you all of us together did and that's really awesome so listen guys if you could and thank you so much for being here tonight i really really appreciate it i don't want to say goodbye but if you could make sure to like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram facebook tiktok and twitter all linked down below um i'm going to download this live afterwards and edit it up so we can experience it again but in clips and you know not as you know a compressed version of this live and um thanks for your wonderful energy tonight guys it really means the world to me i don't want to go because i miss you but tomorrow i'll be live again probably in the city live so um definitely come check it out and if you would like and all the best to anthony tomorrow say thanks <laughs> And um, yeah, he'll be fine. Um, we hope him. So we'll keep you guys posted. And until next time, you'll see me live tomorrow. If you want me to do a live here again tomorrow night, just in the room chilling out for two hours, let me know and I'll make that happen. And we can do dousing rods again, whatever you want. Okay, good night, guys. And God bless.